Hi everybody, I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and today I want to talk to you about battery desulfators and the different models, different brands, that sort of thing. When a battery sulfates up, it means there's uh, sulfates that get on the plates and it makes them harder to charge, shortens their life. And the way to stop that from happening is to use what's called a battery desulfator. And a desulfator will remove the sulfates that are on the lead plates in a battery. Now, the desulfator that I've used here at the store, <coughs> excuse me, I've been using one for the last year, is this little model right here, Power Pulse by Pulse Tech. Now, this is the 12 volt model, and this small unit will do up to three 12 volt batteries. And it works using the power off the battery. You don't have to plug it in anywhere. There's a positive lead and a negative lead. And I'll show you how it hooks up. Okay, we've got a uh, 12 volt battery here. This is the one that uh, is used for solar energy. And this is a lead acid battery. Now basically, you just take the uh, red cable, put it on the positive, and the black, put it on the negative. And there you go. That's all you have to do. Now if you'll notice, there's a flashing red light at the top. This is using a minute amount of power off in the battery. And what this is doing is sending a, a low voltage, high frequency pulse through the battery. And it will keep the sulfates off from that battery uh, permanently. Pretty much these can extend the life of a battery about five times, which translates into about eight or ten years. So a well-maintained battery is easy to charge and will last a long time. Now extending a battery's life five times is that's pretty cool. I mean, that saves you a lot of money. Plus, they're easier to charge. This little pulser here, or this battery desulfator, will make your battery, it'll keep your battery 100% efficient. Now this will work on lead acid, gel cell, AGMs, VRLAs. Now it takes one of these, you can hook up three 12 volt batteries in parallel. Now, the power pulse, they make this in a 24, 36, 48, and a 12 volt model. Okay, now the 12 volt model, uh, what you're looking at there, you can hook it up to three 12 volt batteries in parallel or two 6 volt batteries in series. 24 volt model, up to three 24 volt batteries or two 12 volt or four 6 volt batteries. And then the 48 volt model, up to three 48 volt batteries, two 24 volt or four 12 volt batteries. So that's pretty good. And these are pretty inexpensive. Now, if you've got wind or solar, um, th these are an awesome thing. You've got 12, 20 batteries. Um, I would suggest installing these on those battery banks. Because if you can get up to five times uh, worth of life out of your batteries, that's pretty huge. They also have, uh, well, you can also hook this up in your car, if you've got a car battery, or you can hook it up to your car. You can hook it up to your tractor or something that you've got parked somewhere. And uh, you don't have to worry about this. This isn't going to drain your battery. It uses a tiny amount. We've had them in the store for like a year. I was going through batteries all the time in like forklifts and such, and I stopped going through them. So these are actually working pretty well. Then if you have some bad batteries that are all sulfated up and they're just not working anymore, you can actually buy um, a plug-in desulfator charger. Okay, now if you have a battery that's already sulfated up is no longer working, you can buy a battery desulfator and this model plugs into a wall outlet. Now this is a charger and a desulfator. 
it's going to send the same low voltage, high frequency pulses through a bad battery and bring it back to life. So I have a, this will do uh, two 12 volt batteries at once. Okay, now this charger desulfator comes with a couple of different cables. As you can see here, there's the battery clips and that's fused. And or you can wear it uh, the couple of bolts are permanent to your battery uh, and this is also fused. Now this is pretty automatic. You plug it in and just forget about it. It'll tell you if your battery uh, is completely bad and you can't do anything with it. Okay, now this old battery here, you can see it's all swelled out on the sides. I'm going to check it out. This has been around the shop for a long time. That's reading about uh, 10 volts. I had a charger hooked up to it for a minute, but it was 9.8 volts. Doesn't hold a charge anymore. So, let's go ahead. Now I got the, the uh, charger desulfator hooked up to the battery. Okay, got it on. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the uh, battery desulfator and charger. And you can see it's running through its test. There you go, it's starting to charge. This battery is down to 25%, which is very bad. So I'm not going to be able to do this today. But we're going to leave this hooked up to this battery and see if this will bring this old battery back to life. This battery is pretty old to begin with. Okay, so that there is a... Uh, to check your car alternator, you just start your car up and hook this up to the battery post. It'll tell you whether your um, uh, alternator is overcharging or if it's undercharging. So this is a cool little item. I like this thing. We use this quite a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this hooked up. And I will get back with you guys on this. And this is an extremely bad battery. So I'm going to get back with you guys and let you know if this is actually desulfated this bad a battery and turned those sulfates back into liquid. And that's what the desulfators are just supposed to do. When they break the sulfates off the lead plates, they will turn those sulfates back into liquid. Make your battery easier to charge, quicker to charge, which you guys know on solar energy or wind energy, that's very important for a battery to take a quick, fast charge. So I hope I've explain, explained battery desulfators and what they actually do and whether they're worth it or not. Now here's my suggestion. If you get a brand new battery bank, I would make the investment and put the power pulse on that brand new bank. If you can get another five to ten years out of that battery bank, they are well worth it. Plus, take less energy to charge the battery. Anyway, I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar, and thanks for watching.